Hi all, this is Tim Olson of Evolution Software. In today's demonstration, we're going to look at the work plane and how you can use the work plane to set up an arbitrary orientation to construct geometry in. Let's go ahead and begin. Our goal is to construct some geometry on this uh, tilted face of a solid part. The first thing we're going to do is go ahead and display the work plane. To do that, I will go to the work plane menu item, show work plane. The default work plane is going to be in the top view, x, y, with z being the positive normal. You can see it displayed over the primary coordinate system. You can also see a small triangle representing the orientation in the upper right portion of the screen. Next, we're going to go ahead and set the work plane to be one of the faces of a part we have. Our goal is to create some geometry constructions on this face. So again, we will go to Work Plane, Select Objects. Select Objects will select a face, or it will select circles, lines, arcs, or any type of geometry and extract a normal from it. Let's go ahead and select this face. And then next it prompts us to specify a, a location for the origin. And I'm going to pick this corner over here. Now you can see our display symbol updates, as well as our symbology in the upper right corner. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to work such as I'm parallel to the work plane. I'm viewing it. So I will go to the view, view the plane. So this really is view the work plane. Next, we're going to go ahead and pull off some lines for some construction and building an inset region of this face. And I will go to the parallel line tool and select an edge of the solid. The parallel line tool will recognize edges of solid as well as unattached curves. And we're going to pull it out and then we'll go to our data entry window and type in 0.25. We're going to inset it a quarter of an inch. Likewise, we're going to go around each of these face edges and offset them 0.25. When you do the uh, parallel line tool, it is working with the current work plane. And since our work plane is set to that face, all of these lines were offset in the work plane. We're going to trim these up next using the corner trim tool. And we'll just pick each corner and get some nice clean uh, intersections. Next, uh, we're going to create some text at the center of this region, and I'm going to have it centered within an ellipse. And I will go and put my a center point ellipse, and I'm going to use my logic cursor to uh, wake up a center point of this face, and then let's pull out an ellipse. Okay, now you can see all this stuff is being constructed in that work plane on the face. Let's go back to view the plane. And next we're going to go ahead and create some text. And let's create be a cat. And I'm going to center this. Now I have the gripper turned on. You can turn your gripper on using the last item on the rest on the right. And make sure you have enable gripper. So let's go ahead and grab our text. And the gripper is attached to the text in the work plane. So when we pull this, we're actually pulling it in that work plane. And let's pull it down a little bit. Okay. Now that we have our 2D constructions, let's go ahead and modify the 3D part. And what I'm going to do is use the cutout tool to remove some uh, regions from the solid. And we'll pick the solid, and then I'm going to hold down the shift key and select the five curves of the region I want to cut out, which are the four lines and the ellipse. And I'm using the distance option with 0.25. So here you can see we used our curves in the plane to cut out a region uh, perpendicular to that face. 
All right, next I'm going to take the text of ViaCAD. I'm going to pull it out just a little bit. And uh, I am going to go to the Extrude by Distance tool. I'm going to select my text. And uh, I am going to position it so that part of it intersects that body. And then I'm going to go ahead and do a Boolean operation of that body with my text. And I'm going to right click on the solid and do a show only. And now you can see uh, my ViaCAD uh, set into the face of this part. Let's do one more operation. Let's uh, create a small chamfer on the outside of this edge. And now let's go ahead and uh, render it up. All right, so there we have it. That's an example of how you can use some of the work plane tools to create uh, construction geometry on tilted faces of a part. Thank you.